is the official launch of Deo. What is Deo, you ask? Well, first of all, it is a new movement in women's luxury loungewear created by Yolanda White along with a female designer. And of course, the face for the beautiful line is my beautiful, beautiful sister, Chili. The line is all about luxury, but most importantly, it's about women feeling beautiful from the inside out. Feeling beautiful at the place that starts our day at home. This is the official Deo launch. Hey, it's Crystal Jordan, and we are here at the actual Deo launch in Atlanta, Georgia, with founder Yolanda White, and of course, TLC's Chili. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're here for the launch, and you guys are have been talking to people about how you got started and what you know prompted the line. But I wanted to bring up first that it it's a picture of two women, and it's sensual, and it's a very different thing than you think of when um, you think of women that are sexy at night, at home, it's a lot classier, it's a different picture. So Yolanda, how important was it for you to kind of change the idea of what we think of as sexy? Yeah, I think at the forefront, changing the notion of what it means to be beautiful and sexy is really what Deo is all about. And we, I'm, I mean, I'm just looking at this picture here. It's all about the fact that when we get home, we want to be comfortable. But we don't want to leave behind the fact that we want to be beautiful. and. So it's merging those two things together of how can we change the face? How can we make this look and feel a lot different than what we are used to seeing and mm -hmm. have it done on our terms as women right. in the way that really represents who we are. Right. Now we know that for, for years you've been changing the idea of what women see as sexy and coming from a different perspective. Not taking anything away, but just, just defining it in your own terms. So how important do you think it is for women to, to be able to embrace all sides of themselves and not just, you know, the, the naked, we see the, <laughs> right, yeah. the naked look all the time. The lacy look. Right, um, right. We, well, because we're all different, you know, and um, what this look may not look good on you know this body or the next body and so that's why you have to embrace it all and you have to know that just because you don't look a certain way doesn't mean you're not beautiful and you're not sexy you know you are it's just that uh, you may not see that as much mm -hmm. because of you know whatever reason but it doesn't mean that you're not right. so um, and, and that's you know been very important to me all the time because I <laughs> you know me I, I, I don't I like a dress, but it has to be... <laughs> not really. Yeah. <laughs> not your typical right. tight dress. Exactly. Right. I, I like something with an edge, you right. know, and I still want to feel comfortable. Right. You know, I don't want to be uncomfortable. Right. So. Well, I think that's a good point because a lot of times the designs that we see, I know that you actually have a female designer, Jenny, that was here doing interviews with you earlier. This is a women's line that was inspired by women, created by women. So it's women really defining what is sexy to them. Was that important for you to have women involved in the creation of the It was so important. I mean, the philosophy of my company is that you will never see a room, any meeting, where there are more men than women, ever. And so having a brand that really starts um, with women at the forefront was something that has been our mantra from the very beginning. It doesn't mean that we're alienating to men. Though. It just means that we value and we're empowering women and we're giving them an opportunity to lead from the highest levels of how we develop the proposition all the way to how we execute the brand. And that's been at the forefront of how we thought about that. Right. So that's the business side. Yeah. But for you, with men kind of dictating, being in the music industry, a lot of times men are who decides what's considered sexy, what women should be doing, what women should be wearing. Um, how, how important was it for you that Yolanda actually created this, this women deciding this is what we think is sexy. This is what feels good on our bodies. Some of the things that men design don't really suit us, you know. Well, because the majority is not always the most popular, <laughs> you know. And the thing is, when you are at home, you want to be comfortable. You should be comfortable. But at the same time, it's really when you go to the to a store or a lingerie store, you know, it's either overly sexy or it's just some old cotton PJs, <laughs> <laughs> right, you know, right, right. and they're not very soft. Yeah. <laughs> but Deo mm -hmm. fabric is so soft. It has such a beautiful sheen right. to it, you know, and so you can go home 
be comfortable but still feel beautiful, you know, when you're cooking, which is what I love to do, and or just watching, you know, Nat Geo Wild, which is what I love to do. <laughs> you know, you can just kind of relax in that. And so that's what I love most about it. You know, because again, if you're, most women want to be comfortable, you're not gonna feel uncomfortable in Deo. Right. It's just not happening. Right, and I think if you feel beautiful, you tend to exude that. No, you do, 100%. Right, right, yeah. and you, you actually talked about the inspiration for the brand being a good friend of yours that might not have been feeling as beautiful as she was. Yeah. Can you share a little bit about how that Yeah, you? I mean, I have some of the most amazing friends, but this one particular friend is uber educated, um, has a family, leads a major business, and she found herself in a situation in a crossroad where her marriage wasn't working so well. And just having the courage to be able to talk about that, and then to pair that with, at the end of the day, not forget the marriage, because I want to save the marriage, right. but I feel bad about where how I feel about myself. Mm -hmm. And to be able to provide women with not only a solution, but to open up the conversation of, if you don't feel good about yourself, let's talk about that. Let's get to a place where self-love is at the forefront of our discussion so you can be a better, stronger, emotional being mm -hmm. um, that will lead people and your family in a more powerful way. So right. that sort of was underneath it all. Mm -hmm. When we talk about self-love, people think, you know, well, you got to get a better self-esteem, you need to get self-confidence, but it's not as easy as just saying that to somebody. Can you speak about like being in the, being in the public eye for so long? I'm sure you've had to deal with how did you build your own self-esteem and get to the point where you were really comfortable with who you were and being able to say, I'm not doing that, that's not me, this is me, this is what works for me, and this is how I feel comfortable. Um, well, I think it is um, a combination of my upbringing and just how God made me, you know, <laughs> um, seriously, because you can have certain things, in, you know, in, instilled in you, but we all will fall for the okie doke at different times in our lives, and you kind of have to look at the bigger picture of it all and, and understand that I don't care who you are, one, no one is perfect. Right. Um, we all have our insecurities and it's okay. Right. And um, so once you own those things about yourself, then that's when you get the real power, right. you know, and you understand like, you know, it's nothing wrong with you. Mm -hmm. You know, we all need to improve ourselves, of course, and that's what life is all about. You know, you go through things and, and, and you gotta you learn the lesson. Mm -hmm. Learn the lesson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, it when you learn the lesson, then you can you, you feel the growth inside of you, mm -hmm. you know, and so um and then it be, it helps to get you to that place where you're more resilient when it comes to negative things, right. like people saying stuff, because once they see that it's not bothering you or you know, you kind of like say something back to them and not mm -hmm. even being negative, right. you know, really, that's how you feel about me? Oh, oh my God, <laughs> I didn't even know you, re you, you read your card, oh, I love you. Yeah. You know, because, away, right, right, because because the thing is, most people that are being ugly towards you have so many issues going on exactly. with themselves, and they really truly need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, Bye you know. Time. So That's true. you have to like, you just have to, you know, know that things, words won't kill you. Right. right. You know, you Break can. Break up some words. Won't no, kill they you. won't. <laughs> they they will not kill you. And the thing that will kill you is you allowing that stress to get to you. And so you just you can't give anybody that kind of power. You have to own that yourself. Right. Right. Um, now, Yolanda, you were on the other side because you were a big, you were a corporate exec for many, many years, and so you have this, you know, this this corporate exterior. Were there ever times that you dealt with feeling your own insecurities oh, or gosh. or things like that that women may not have seen but may have yeah. been true to to what you were going through? Yeah, so many. Honestly, I mean, you know, I work with people from different countries who spoke multiple languages and I'm real fluent at English but that's as far as it goes right so um, yeah there have been times just questioning am I good enough you know um, and it's happened throughout my entire career it even happens with me being an entrepreneur and what I have never verbalized but definitely feel is at the forefront is just making sure that I power through some of those thoughts and 
um, I keep a bank of just what I call like my validation and say, no, 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 you got this girl. Like, you know, just keep moving. And, you know, everything won't be perfect, but if you learn how to pick yourself up when you fall, it gets easier and easier yeah. to continue to pick yourself up. And so- and you don't fall as much. And you don't fall <laughs> as much because you learn and you accept, maybe I need help in this area or right. another area. So becoming self-aware really has been a big part of my journey. Mm -hmm. I think if young women heard that from someone like you or like you, that they probably wouldn't assume feels like that. It could kind of make them feel better because a lot of times you're going through things like that, you think no one else has felt like oh my that, gosh, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So what would you say to like a 16 year old version of yourself today after having this amazing corporate career and now, you know, going on to launch your own line, what would you go back and say to her? Don't be afraid to take risk. Do what's in your heart, but be smart about it. And um, one piece that I think we've talked about, like always have a plan A, but don't move on plan A until you thought about a plan B. So yeah, if anything right. happens and you need to pick yourself up, you have an idea in mind of how you could get there. Mm -hmm. What about you, yeah. you know, you were, you were on your journey pretty early. <laughs> <laughs> pretty early, but what would you say to yourself if you could go back and talk to yourself when you first, when you were four years first old? First got signed. <laughs> <laughs> when you first got signed and you first started in the business, because I know you've learned a lot of lessons through there, but what lesson would you give your, that younger version of, of Chili when she just signed with TLC? I know, because then I wouldn't have acid reflux. <laughs> <laughs> if I could go back and talk to her, but, if, but what, the 20 year, your old person listen to you. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's the, a good point. See, that's, that's the thing. Point. You that's know. A good point. But um, oh my gosh, it's so much that I would tell my twenty-year-old self. Um, but I think most importantly, it's just you just always just gotta trust the gut feeling. Yeah. You it. know, the gut feeling is never, when it's a gut feeling, right. it's, it's never, never wrong. wrong. Mm -hmm. It's wrong when you go against that feeling, you right. know. Right. And, and I don't care if the gut feeling is telling you not to do something and everybody else is doing it or, you know, it's because it's usually a majority kind of thing, right. you know what I'm saying? So you, you, you got to trust it and listen to it because you'll save yourself a lot of heartache and, and just huge disappointments and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. We talk about that being like God's gift to women. He gives us that, that intuition that intuition that is always right. Um, what did, what, coming up with the inspiration obviously from your friend and then your own, probably your own um, things that you were dealing with, but where did the name come from? Ooh. So the name is an African name. We know both of my kids have African names as well. Um, it means happiness has arrived, and because this is a brand about much more purpose, I wanted to make sure that the name actually had some meaning behind it. But it also sort of is a shortcut where you can wear Deo in the day and on, so that's there. <laughs> and then it's the first two letters of my first name and the last two letters of my first name. Lots of symbolism. Yeah, there's a whole yeah, lot of things going on. <laughs> yeah. So, which is why we put the emphasis on the Y in the um, name because it links back to me. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's Deo. Big, big launch. Where do you see this company going in the next year? We have a complete growth plan over the next year. So it's expansion into a more competitive price prop proposition um, that still has all the functional benefits and the soft feel that you see in the brand today. We will also do some exciting Mother's Day signature items that will launch. Um, and then you'll see some surprise distribution places. Nice. But we'll be at Fashion Week doing some fabulous stuff. <laughs> nice. Where can people find Dayo if they are interested in buying you can find right it? Now? Yeah, it's online, dayowomen.com. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> All right, this has been Crystal Jordan. We're here at the Dayo launch in Atlanta, Georgia. You guys are going to see more from the panel with Yolanda White and, of course, Chili. And so we'll catch you guys in there. Bye. Thank you.